Okay, this is the mesh that we got from a customer. Uh, they had no idea how to machine it, so we actually helped them uh, machine this. So this was quite challenging because, as you can see, the way they had scanned it, this is a scanned part. And you can see there's a lot of holes in this. Uh, how do we machine this? Uh, and they wanted to do it on a five axis um, uh, machine. Uh, so the way we did this um, is using control geometry, obviously, the power of the control geometry in five axis. Uh, what we did was we created, I'll show you those different surfaces very quickly that we had to create. So we created, uh, used the power of Rhino to create that drape surface. So we did a drape surface, it basically essentially created a closed surface, and that was the drape. And then I'm gonna hide that. And then using our mesh module, we actually offset that surface, um, created a mesh, and then we offset that mesh, um, and then uh, came up with these, let me hide that one. As you can see, uh, that's the offset mesh that we came up with. And then we, we created section curves on that offset mesh. Once we did that, we are able to create, create a surface. Uh, the reason we need a surface is uh, obviously to drive the, drive the cutter in five axis mode. We created that surface using those uh, section curves that we created. Once we had that surface, and it's gotta be underneath uh, because we are actually positioning on top. So we did a horizontal roughing on the side, horizontal roughing, and then used that surface the drive surface to actually position to the uh, to the check geometry so this is how we machined the sides of this and uh, we had capped the holes the the nice thing about that we also capped the holes at the same time uh, once we created that surface uh, we had capped it pretty nicely so we were able to actually machine it and then we created section curves going in the other direction and to create that surface and to machine the top, actually, so. Joe, we did have a question uh, okay. regarding the, um, the surface that you created for this mesh. Uh-huh. There's a little confusion on what actually that surface is doing and why you need it, obviously. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we talked about uh, the control geometry uh, briefly in the in the in the toolpath method that I showed. So we need uh, the surface to derive the surface normals on the cut pattern. Uh, so that gives us the cut pattern to position the cutter along. So that surface is used to define the surface normals as well as cut patterns. Okay, let me, and that's the surface that we use. As you can see, that's the surface normal. We, we slice that surface to define the surface normal. I'll take off the uh, gauge check geometry. And we use the mesh as the gauge check geometry. So that basically, in effect, allows us to write the mesh geometry. So I'll do that. I'll regenerate that. You might get a better idea. So that's, if I didn't have this mesh at all, oops, I was taking up a lot of <laughs> resources. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's a pretty heavy mesh, so. Okay, it finished, there's your surface. So if I didn't have this mesh, let's say, and I use that surface, that's the toolpath you're gonna get. So basically, that's what we use. This is the cut pattern. As you can see, these are parallel planes uh, that define the cut pattern. And not only the cut pattern, we can actually also, I'll show you another option to show you the tool axis normals. There's an option where you can actually display the tool axis. So this actually displays the tool axis. I, I don't know whether you can see it, but those little lines those define the tool axis vectors as you're machining it. This is how the tool is going to be positioning. So that's what the surface is doing. It's giving us not only the cut pattern or the cut trajectory uh, for the tool to be, uh, to follow, but also the tool axis normals. I hope that's clear. I think I'll turn it off just to show. 
Okay. And that you can turn on in the toolpad display as I just mentioned, uh, as just showed you. Okay, we're almost uh, at the end. I want to quickly show you the uh, the machine tool simulation, which is a pretty nice thing that we had set up with. 